Ciao a tutti amici di Dawa Italia. Hello friends of Dawa Technology and welcome back. Today we'll be talking about thermal cameras, which are equipped with a sensor that is able to detect radiant heat and are therefore, as you can now guess, able to operate in conditions in which traditional cameras would be unable to capture any useful information. Here today we have a traditional video camera mounted outside our building as well as a thermal camera, the TPC 5600, which is also mounted outside. This camera is a hybrid that can, as you might guess from the images, take advantage of its dual lenses to provide both traditional and thermal images. Ora ci spostiamo nel menu now let's take a look at the setup menu of our thermal camera. As usual, I type in the IP address of the video camera, its username and password. And as you can see from the setup menu, here I can set the type of color palette to give to the image. In this case, we've selected Fusion, which is one of the most popular, but as you can see, we have a whole range of colors available. The camera is also equipped with a heat sensor. So here to the right, we have a gradient bar that shows higher temperatures in warmer colors and cooler temperatures in colder, darker colors. We also have a fire warning section, which enables us to manage fire alarms. We can select either anti-jamming mode, which is slower but more accurate, or high response mode, which is much more sensitive. Then we have the video detection section, where we tell the camera what we want it to do to report the alarms. And we can also, of course, set the validity periods for alarms. Let's say we want to monitor a power line. We need to go to the temperature menu, and under rule, we set up the rule. In the rule editor, we can decide if we want to monitor points, lines, or entire areas. In the alarm menu, we can first of all specify the intrinsic characteristics of the material we want to analyze, and then how we want the camera to report any alarms. In this case, we set the camera's relay to close when the temperature of the mast along the line we've drawn exceeds 35 degrees centigrade. At this point, setup is complete and all we have left to do is save it all. Well friends, that's it for today. Bye for now and see you next time here at Dower Technology.